All right, you guys, this is about to get fun. So we're gonna talk about operations with rational numbers. So part A is the sum, meaning adding two rational numbers, always a rational number. You can think about it as if you're, well, adding two fractions always give you a fraction. Well, let's, let's take a look at this and test it out. Let's add two fractions together. So we're going to um, just use some variables to represent. So if I were to take a fraction instead of, and I'm going to say a, a over b, there's my fraction. a is a non-zero integer, b is a non-zero integer. If I take that and I add to it another fraction, let's say c over d. So all these variables are just representing integers that are not zero. Will the answer give you a fraction? Well, how many of you guys remember how to add fractions together? You do need a common denominator. Um, the denominators right now are b and d, so I'm going to multiply in a d to this fraction. So I have, and you have to multiply it to the top and bottom when you do that. So that would give me a d over b d plus, now the second fraction has a d, which is now common with that, but we have to multiply in a b. So we're going to multiply in a b to the denominator and to the numerator. Um, so c times b is bc over bd. Do you see how we have a common denominator now, bd? So when you're adding fractions, your common denominator stays the same, then you add the numerators. Well, ad and bc are not like terms. So I'm just going to write ad plus bc. Um, so did we get a fraction? Well, sure did. That's a fraction. So is the sum of two rational numbers always a rational number? Yes, it is. And we could substitute in some numbers here to show what that looks like with numbers, but we're just gonna kind of get through this video as it's a bit trickier. Is the product, so product is multiplying two rational numbers. So I'm gonna use the same rational numbers. Um, my first rational number is gonna be A over B. This time we're going to multiply it by the second rational number, c over d. Just remember, these are um, representing numbers. You know, it could be 3 over 2 times 5 over 7, you know, just multiplying rational numbers. So when you multiply those, you do not need a common denominator. You just multiply straight across. a times c is ac. b times d is bd. Nothing simplifies for that. So is this a fraction? Sure is. So is the product of two rational numbers always a rational number? Yes. So when you're adding rational numbers and you're multiplying rational numbers, you will get a rational number um, for your answer.